Well, hello and how are you, hey, friends? Welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Jenadol Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know this here is Friday, March 31st, 2017, B-Blog number 2041. Well, hey, you know what? Uh, Got a birthday shout-out going out to... Craig Stereo Starhole. Yeah, Craig Starhole. And not only that, I also got something else. A belated anniversary going out to Karen and Ken Howell. So without further ado, we're gonna do a birthday song. Oop, where'd it go? Here we go. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. So, Craig, there's one more you're going to win. So, happy birthday to you today. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. So, there's one more you're going to win. So, happy birthday to you today. Day and many more. Alrighty, hey, cha cha cha. Now I'm gonna run the same thing, but I'm gonna run the same. Uh, uh, this one I'm gonna run for a uh, uh, Karen and Ken. Hey, I heard it's your anniversary yesterday. So, happy first uh, anniversary, I must say. So, Karen and Ken, there's one more year gone away. So, a happy anniversary to you yesterday. And many more. Alrighty then, that being said. We done it. We did it. You got it. Alrighty then. Boa, boa, boa. I'm chilly, and I can't figure out why I'm chilly. I, I think it's got something to do with quitting smoking, but you never can tell. I don't know if it's, it could be my emergency. I used to take emergency every day, but I ran out, and so I quit uh uh, once I ran out of it, I didn't renew it. Well, I've been lacking. Been lacking my emergency. And you know what I really think it is? I think it's uh, not getting my full dose of vitamin D. And you know why I ain't been getting my vitamin D? Well, that's because it's been raining and cold and sniffly. And I ain't been able to get outside, sit in the warm heat of the day. I'm kind of like a lizard that way, or a snake. Cold-blooded. Get out there and get in that sunshine and let that sunshine warm my body. That's where I miss out on a lot of my vitamin D. Boy, boy, boy. Anywho. Let's see, what was I going to do? I was going to say, I took a nap and tell you, chink it to go, ketong, 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 ketong. Yeah. Right on, right on, right on. Oh, Lordy. I want to sing a song. Sing something yesterday. Sing something the day before. I didn't get all of the... I tried. There were a few, um, whatchamacallits, that I didn't get yesterday. Uh, big bopper songs. But I did get some uh, compliments from my uh, Navy buddy, uh, Donnie. 
said, keep up the big bopper work. He said, you are the big bopper. And you know what that means? That means big bopper. Hello, baby. Yeah, well. Let me see what else I can do today. I'm going to try some old, old tunes. Um, like trailers for Sailor Rant. I'll try that. Alrighty, here we go. Trailers for Sailor Rant. Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. I'm a Two hours of a push and broom buys an eight by ten four bit room. I'm a man of means by no means, cause I'm king of the road. Third box car midnight train, destination banger main, old worn out suit and shoes. I don't bait no union dues. I smoke a old stogies I have found. Short, but not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. Cause I'm a king of the road. King of the road. I'm just a king of the road. I know every engineer on every train and all their children's and all the good names. Every hand out in every town. And if it's locked, it ain't locked if no one's around. I say, trailers for sale or rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. I'm a Man of means by no means, king of the road, cause I'm a man of means by no means, king of the road, I'm just a king of the road, I said a king of the road. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey, you know what? My dad was talking about somebody today. Um, let's see, Rockefeller, I do believe. No, not Rockefeller. Uh, it was one of our presidents. Um, uh, let's see, wh which one was it? Um, oh, dog on it. Hold on. I'll get it here in a second. Give me a second. I'll get it. Reminded me of somebody else, but that's why. But I'll I'll tell you who it was, and I'll tell you why it reminded me of him. Well, it wouldn't work. He was a mining engineer, and not a miner. But I'm going to do the miner song anyway. So... Here we go. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed two forty five. Kind of broad at the shoulders and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you just said hi to Big John. And somebody said... He came from New Orleans, where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen. And chasing, 
crashing below from a huge right hand send a Louisiana fella to the promised land Big John Big John Big John Big Bad John Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and the men started crying Miners were praying, and the hearts beat fast, and everybody thought it, that they'd uh, breathe their last, except John. Through the dust and the smoke uh, of this man-made hell walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. He grab, grabbed a stag and timber and gave out a groan, and like the giant oak tree, he just stood there alone. Big John, Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. And with all of his strength, he, he gave a mighty shove. Then the miners yelled out, There's light up above. And twenty men scrambled from the would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save Big John. With Jackson Timbers, they started back down, then gave it that rumble way down in the ground. And when smoke and gas belched out at the out of the mine, everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Though they never reopened that worthless pit, they just placed a marble stand in front of it. There's few words were written on the stand and at the bottom of this mine lies a one hell of a man, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Big John, Big John, Big John. All righty, all righty, all righty. See if we ain't got, no, we ain't got time for one more. Let's do our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. So, without further ado, let's jump into our por our, our uh, devotion of the day, which is the greatest invitation. Why? Do you know what the greatest invitation is? That's our invitation up into heaven. And do you know who provided us with that invitation? God, and do you know how he provided us with that invitation? Through the death, the birth, death, and the birth, life, and death, and resurrection of his only true and begotten son. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to be reading Isaiah 55, 1 through 7. And if you're reading your Bible in the year, which I'm hoping you is, you should be reading Judges 11 through 12 and Luke 6, 1 through 26. Alrighty. Well, alrighty then. Here we go. Without further ado, Isaiah 55, 1 through 7. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, Come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy, and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight in itself and abundance incline your ear and come to me here and you 
hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you the sure miracle of David indeed I have given him as a witness to the people a leader and commander of the people surely you shall come call a nation and you do not know and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel for he has glorified you seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon and so there you have it Isaiah 55 1 through 7 and that leads me to one more song and that song would be well goodbye my friends it's time to go I said goodbye my friends it's time to go I hate to leave you but I really must go goodbye my friends goodbye hey this here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you and thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show and you know as always God loves you and so do I so be blessed in Jesus name and come back and see me tomorrow because well I'll be here and I hope you are too